there, it's Jen, and I'm glad to be back with another layout for you. Today I'm going to be using the Felicity Jane Jill kit, finally. This is the January kit, and I haven't used it yet. Um, but I visited Gina's new offices, the Felicity Jane offices in Arizona, when I was there for Creativation. And so I have this picture of her, and I thought, what better time to use this collection than with a picture of her. So I'm also using this cut file that I... Uh, had as a free download in my Facebook group which is called Crafty Use It or Lose It. I'll have a link to it in the video description. It's always there. Um, we'd love for you to join us over there. We've got a few freebies and lots of uh, inspiration going on right now. But I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and use the Jill uh, collection to scrapbook this page. Okay, so I'm starting by trying to figure out what I want to do on the background here. And I thought maybe I would use a pattern paper, but I decided to go with white. And I'm going to use some of the pattern papers to back my cut file here. So at first I thought maybe I would leave my cut file white and just do some layers that kind of peeked behind it. I really like the vellum pages that came in this kit. But then I take the cardstock and I decide to go ahead and fill in the flower and the leaves with uh, these plain papers and then I'm also going to use some vellum. So I just turned over the paper that I wanted, turned over my cut file, traced it out, and then I'm gonna glue it on. And that's how I'm going to uh, fill all of the spaces here. So I, there were a few spaces that I kind of missed. I'm not very good at backing cut files, but I do it. Um, and you know, it can be just a, a little bit of a pain. Before I glue that pink piece in, I decided I wanted some yellow in the center, and so I just uh, traced the center onto this piece, and I'll glue that down first. And I'm just using some detail scissors to cut that out, and then just trying to figure out where exactly it goes. So I won't make you <laughs> watch me figure and fuss with this uh, the whole time, but here you can see cut to where I've uh, backed the the center portion and the large floral piece. And now I'm going to use this striped vellum to do the leaves. And I thought it was perfect because it's green and I like the little peekaboo of the vellum and so it's just something a little bit different. So this time I decided to uh, just go ahead and glue down my leaves and then cut around them because this was a pretty simple shape. Uh, to do and then I'm going to do this with all of the the different leaves on the flower it was a little bit tricky at times but I ended up working it out and this is just something that if you want to do it it's just going to take you a minute and um, for me I don't mind that but if you do then maybe backing cut files isn't for you um, but this is something that I really like to do so now I've got it all backed I did uh, the other flower in a darker pink and then I did some of the smaller pieces in yellow and then I liked the way that kind of fit around the photo so I just had the floral piece at the top and then my photo centered beneath it and now I'm looking through uh, I dumped out some of the pieces the die cut pieces into a little bin I like to keep these little bins next to me just so I can um, pull out things that I might want to use and kind of rifle through it as I'm working and so I'm just looking through to see what I might want to use. I was thinking about using those floral pieces, but then I thought maybe it's a little too much. Um, I do really like that little uh, chipboard piece, and I'm going to use it in the center of the flower. And then I was really trying to find a way to use one of those little tiny paper clips, the mini wide clips, but it doesn't end up on this layout. This layout actually, because of the cut file, came together really quickly. So after... Um, I have a little bonus at the end of this video of me creating a card uh, as well, so be sure to watch for that. So I'm using this Cosmic Shimmer paste, gold paste stuff, and um, it's just going to, it looks like a hot mess, but when I put the cut file on top of it, it's not quite so bad. I just wanted it peeking out a little bit from the cut file, and then you can kind of see through it, uh, through the vellum you can see it through the vellum and I like that. So I decide to pop up the flower and I'm not worrying about the vellum parts too much. I'm just going to pop up the pieces that I can actually back. And so it's most of it and I don't mind if it's a little bit floppy. I don't mind if things move around a little. When it's in the page protector, it's going to sit just fine. So now I'm going ahead and putting my photo down. I've got my, um, my cut file placed on my layout and I'm just going to glue that down and 
um, I decided to pop up some of the leaves on the edges and put a little foam behind them. Now I did put a tiny piece of foam on a couple parts of the backs of those leaves just to hold them down just a tiny bit and you can't see it at all and that ended up working just great. So now I'm going back to my die cuts trying to figure out if those floral pieces will work and I'm just not loving the way that it looks. And then I remembered that there were these uh, transparent die cuts and so I'm going to use some of these black and white flowers to kind of uh, mix in with that big floral piece and just uh, give it another little something. So these are transparent as well so you can see through to the, the gold behind them which I like and I just think they're really pretty. Looking at it now I think it was fine without these pieces but I used them and so that's that. <laughs> I also used a little border strip from the transparent pieces underneath my photo and I really, really wanted to use these stamps, but I don't get them on the layout. But I am going to use them on the card. So that's part of the reason why I did the card because I really wanted to use those. So now I'm trying to decide how am I going to put my journaling on here and do embellishment because I have everything centered, but I need to do my journaling somewhere. And so I decided to write down my journaling first and then try to balance it with the embellishment afterward. So I'm just drawing some lines, talking about how I was glad I got to go to the new Felicity Jane headquarters while I was in Arizona for creativation. And um, I'm writing that with a Pentel, is it Pentel? Sorry, I'm just looking here. Oh, a Pilot envelope writing pen that I got from Jet Pens. I love those pens, they're so great. Um, and then I'm gonna decide how I want to balance everything. So I brought those die cut flowers in again and they just go away. <laughs> I feel like there needs to be something in that little space above the photo. So I will put these two little black die cuts there and um, I'm putting some of the hearts on the sides as well and then I'm going to that's going to balance out the journaling um, and the date on the right hand side so I'm still trying to make that paper clip work but it goes away as well and now I am just putting adhesive where you won't see it on these uh, little transparent shapes and then if you have smaller transparent pieces I with those little hearts I end up using my um, my little Xyron sticker maker to adhere those and I'll pull that out here in just a second. I'm just erasing my journaling lines and I think I'm going to staple, yep, I staple that date uh, label on and then I wanted a staple on the Your Beautiful label but I couldn't figure out how to staple it without messing things up so I just added the staple and then I added it onto the layout afterward so that ends up working just fine and I added my little chipboard happy above it. And now I am going to pull out my Xyron, I think, to glue down those hearts. So basically you just stick them in and then pull the sticker out the other side, make, rub it down to make sure that there's no adhesive around the edges, and then you have a little sticker. And it applies um, an even amount of adhesive on all of the side, or like along the whole back of, this, of the heart, and so it works out really well. So I am grabbing my phone to look up the date of this photo so that I can put the exact date on there. And I am using some stays on ink to stamp that because um, those die cuts have a little bit of a slick surface. And then I'm gonna use my Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine to just add some gold splatters. That at this point I realized I don't have a title. And I thought, you know, in the photo it says Felicity and that could just be my title but I thought maybe I should do something else. So I am trying to put the word mist somewhere and I'm thinking if I do white on white, then it will just kind of blend in and that will be fine, but I'm not finding a good place to put it. It just isn't feeling quite right. And so I'm playing around with it. I could have put it there, I guess. I don't know, it feels like it's competing with the photo because the photo has such a prominent word in it. And so I ended up just putting a tiny little FJ over on the right hand side. Right now I'm trying to do FJHQ, but that doesn't end up working. So I'm just gonna do FJ and I wanted to do a little heart for the dot of the J. And so I pulled out my 
Um, I knew I had some small Felicity Jane puffy stickers, so I'm trying to make that work. And then I realized that on those alphabets that came in the Jill kit, there are little tiny hearts. Um, and they're even smaller than those puffy hearts. So I ended up switching it out for one of those. And that's just going to be my title. So it's not really a title, but it kind of is. And I think that's okay. Um, when you have a large word in your photo, sometimes it can be tricky. So it's fine to totally just uh, go with the flow on that. Sorry about the cord in the top left. My, my camera was plugged in and I didn't notice that the cord was in frame. Um, so I'm just putting down that uh, gold splatter and then I'm going to come back here and explain to you how I'm going to get the card started. All right, so since I didn't use this really cute stamp set on my layout, I decided to make a quick card. So I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be using. I have some white cardstock from Cut Cardstock. This is their Cougar uh, white cardstock in it's 140 pound. I really love it. It's nice and thick. So my card um, base is made out of that and then I'm going to stamp on it as well. I'm going to heat emboss my floral images with white embossing ink or white embossing powder from American Crafts and um, I'm going to watercolor it in. So I have my Alta New watercolors and just a Tim Holtz um, water brush here. So I am going to start with that and I'll talk you through my process. All right, so I'm starting with my Versamark ink and I'm using this little stamping press, which is from the We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press. It's the mini precision press. And they have this in their HSN, uh, they had an HSN bundle a little while back and they actually, I did some contract work for them and so I they sent it to me but I love that little thing it comes with a platform that you use it on but I like just using it plain it has kind of flexible feet and it's really nice for stamping if you don't need to use a stamp like an actual stamp press like the Tim Holtz platform like I have um, it's really nice so I just stamped my flowers and then sprinkled some white embossing powder on them and I am heating them up now, melting that embossing powder until it's uh, shiny and smooth. And you know, I really love the Ranger heat tool for mixed media, but for embossing it's not as great. So I may end up going back to my old heat tool and having both of them. Anyway, I have one of the three by four cards out and I'm trying to match that pinkish color with my Alta New watercolors. And it's not perfect and I'm totally fine with that. Um, I just wanted a light pink color and then I have a little bit of a darker pink hue in the center of some of the flowers. And then I wanted to do some yellow as well. So I'm just using kind of uh, yellows and pinks to color in these flowers and I'm not worrying too much about staying in the lines because I'm going to fussy cut these out and then I'm just using green for the leaves obviously and I'm using kind of that lime green uh, I mixed it with a little bit of a darker green just so it wouldn't be quite so limey but um and I always like to use a couple of colors just to get some variation. Um, so like I have the darker pink in the center of the flowers, I have a little bit of a darker green on the edges of some of the leaves. So I'm using my heat gun to just dry up the watercolor because I'm impatient. And then I am going to cut those out with some uh, detail scissors that I have from Close to My Heart. And I will not make you watch me do that, but here I've I've uh, embossed more than I actually need. And what I've got here now is a couple of the stamp sentiments and I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do and how I'm going to arrange it. And I really like that little three by four card that looks like notebook paper. And it's the perfect place for me to also use that little paper clip that I wanted to use so badly on the layout. So I'm going to stamp, hello beautiful. Uh, and I think it says you are enough. It says a bunch of enough kind of sentiments. I'm using some, um, close to my heart black ink and I just rubbed the stamp on my skin because it helps to uh, get the like the manufacturing oils from this uh, stamp manufacturing process off of the stamp just so that you get a better uh, ink coverage you can also like stamp uh, the actual stamp um, a few times to get that uh, going or you can use like an eraser or something but 
I just use my arm. <laughs> and then, so it says, hello, beautiful. You really are good enough, pretty enough, and strong enough. And I just absolutely love that sentiment. And so I'm going to kind of clip that to the top so it looks like a paper clipped to the top of my card. And I decided I wanted a little bit of pink at the top. So I'm just using a piece of the pink card stock and I'm cutting a little strip uh, with my We Are Memory Keepers guillotine trimmer. I was having such a hard time getting this straight <laughs> that I had to cut it a couple of times. Uh, just because I, it wasn't straight to begin with, so I kept messing it up. So I glued that down, and now I'm going to add that at the top, and I just love the way that looks. I'm going to adhere it a little bit um, skewed, so it's not completely straight, and then I'm going to add the flower at the bottom, and then one at the top. Uh, and I'm going to adhere that top one with some foam tape, and then I am adhering the small one on the bottom, and then adhering the larger one with foam tape as well. And I just love the way that looks. It's so pretty. Those flowers are absolutely gorgeous. I think it would be a great idea to stamp a ton of these and then just have them on hand to fill in with watercolor. Um, like whenever you need them for a project, you could just watercolor them really quickly. So I pulled out these sequins that came in a past Felicity Jane kit as well. It might've been the Christmas kit. They are just little hearts and I'm going to adhere the black ones and I'm just going to scatter them um, above and below the sentiment. So I've got a little jewel picker here to help me pick them up and I'm just kind of struggling with it a little bit. Um, it's just not, I don't know, it's not doing what I need it to do or something. Um, but I'm going to just scoop a few more of these out and I wanna put the little teeny tiny ones. These are itty bitty, you could stamp these instead. Um, that would be a lot easier probably. But I'm just using some uh, Nuvo glue to glue those down. I've really been loving that glue. It holds really, really well and it's great for sequins. And I'm just scattering a few on the top and the bottom. And that is pretty much going to finish this card. I love the way that this turned out. I wanna make five more. In fact, after this, I did make another card, but I wasn't super happy with the way it turned out, so I decided not to share it. Um, but c making cards can be super easy, and especially with the leftovers from a scrapbook project that you had going on. So um, lastly, I decided to go ahead and add just a little bit of shimmer, and I'm just took my close to my heart shimmer pen and I am going over the flowers and it just gives a subtle little sparkle. So here are some photos of the card and then there will be also some photos of the layout that I created at the beginning of the video. I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to head over to the Facebook group there. People are sharing the most inspiring projects and there are some freebies there that you can download like this cut file. Um, I've had so much pl fun playing with it and lots of other people in the group have as well. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, at the end of the video, here are a couple other videos you might enjoy. If you are not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button to see new videos from me each week. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again here very soon.